So one of the first things that I want to talk about is the importance of how I use the overall future. So this is the natural gas future forward slash NG and a series of ETFs that I trade. So I don't ever trade the future itself. I only watch it. I'm going to explain to you exactly why I have such a strong focus and pay so much attention to forward slash NG. But the main two ETFs, ETNs, right, that I choose to trade are UGAS and DGAS. And the reason that I trade them is, again, when natural gas goes up. So let me show you guys a perfect example of this. Uh, this is on the one day, one minute chart for DGAS. DGAS was showing signs of an uptrend. When natural gas goes down, DGAS goes up. And vice versa so that that means that you gas then goes down right when natural gas goes down as well so you can see this a little bit more clear um, when it comes down to like the, being able to use the flux grid for you gas and forward slash ng which is the natural gas future um, again uh, nat uh, overall futures trade longer than actual stocks and ETFs uh, so that's one thing that I do want you to know and that's actually a huge reason on why I pay so much attention to forward slash ng but again I'll pay, uh, I'll you know uh, touch on that in just a little bit but what I want you guys to know is from again 509 so let's start from five o'clock right so five o'clock on Friday right and then where it closed look how identical this is or it's you know um, when natural gas goes down forward slash ng you guys follows and then it consolidates right and then it consolidates here and then it continues to sell off and flatline continues to sell off and flatline here it has a nice little push up nice little push up begins to sell off flat lines sells off flat lines so they follow one another when it comes down to degas it does the exact opposite right so as degas sells off then natural gas pushes up and then as natural gas sells off then degas pushes up you guys get the point the really cool thing about this is again there's always one pushing up and there's always one pushing down but that's not really what i want to pay attention to the reason that i pay so much attention to forward slash ng is just that so just imagine waking up in the morning right during pre-market hours and only having this data to analyze yes you can use the view up and you can you can try to get a better understanding of the overall low points and high points but there's not that much data to analyze and that is exactly why i look at forward slash ng this doesn't just open you know two and a half hours before the market opens just like a normal etf and etf and um, an overall stock does right so the market opens in arizona at 6 30 a.m mountain standard time pre-market hours open for you know what I'm able to do within TD Ameritrade at 4 a.m. Futures are trading all night, all morning, and it allows me to understand and, and collect more data and analyze more data to understand which direction it's heading, right? So if I want to grow my account, I want to trade patterns that are showing signs of growth. That's simple. I say that all the time, right? So if I see, right, I see this pattern. The overall low points, high points, basic support and resistance level. If you don't know what that is, and again, go watch a video about it. But you can see overall low points, high points, and then you see that natural gas becomes very overextended. You can see that with RSI, you can see that MACD is becoming so overbought. So based off of previous patterns on the one day, one minute chart, I can make sense that, hey, natural gas is now overbought, meaning that DGAS, right, going back, meaning that UGAS, which is the one that follows natural gas, is overextended, and it makes sense on why it can begin to pull back. So then what would what would most likely make sense for me to take a position on? Should I buy, you know, you guys because natural gas is overbought and overextended and no longer a good deal? No, I can put essentially because of what I'm able to analyze here understand that hey then degas is a good buyer and now i can buy this and then be able to sell it for a profit and i just built myself a you know well based off previous resistance levels i, I didn't know exactly how high it was going to go but based off previous resistance levels which is right around that 107.50 area you could see that okay the margin is around uh one to two percent not bad might make for a nice little uh you know day trade right as the market opens again that i'm only able to make that analysis by looking at the overall forward slash ng future because if I look at you guys and I look at DGAS, I don't know, you know, based off of the data that I'm able to analyze, I don't know if you guys, you know, had previous highs, previous lows, how it was trading. Yes, I can sense um, go a little bit further back and look at larger time frames. But again, when it comes down to day trading, I want to focus on very relevant patterns. And what's more relevant than how it was trading just a couple minutes ago or just a couple of hours ago in instead of a day ago. So that is a huge reason on why I like to pay attention to forward slash NG. I never actually trade any of the futures. And again, it's just not something that I do. But a majority of the time, if you guys ever watch me trade live, if you're part of the Learn Plan Profit Group, they have to watch me trade live every single morning. 
And a majority of the time, I'm not even looking at UGAS or DGAS, or if I'm trading, you know, uh, NASDAQ ETFs, I'm not even looking at SQs or TQs. I'm looking at the overall future. I'm looking at forward slash NQ. I'm looking at forward slash NG. I'm looking at forward slash GC. I'm looking at forward slash CL because I have more data to analyze. And that's what's most important to me. I like to focus on three things. Like I said, I like to focus on overall patterns, directions, and making sure that the opportunity cost is worth it. If you guys want a better explanation of what that means in the learn plan profit lesson library, I go into detail about that. But again, I just wanted to make a video explaining how I trade these series of ETFs. Now, one of the last things that I want to cover is I'm going to go on the five day, five minute chart. What is something that comes out on a weekly basis for natural gas and for crude oil? Again, I don't trade the crude oil reports, but one thing that I do do, do do, you heard that right, is I trade the natural gas report. And that is every Thursday, one hour after the market opens, one hour after the market opens. So if you're gonna ask what time that is, what time does the market open in your area? And it's one hour after that. So my time, market opens here at 6.30 a.m. And that means that the natural gas report comes out at 7.30 a.m. So what this means is it pushes either up or it pushes down normally based off of previous patterns, anywhere from 1.5 to up to 3% based off of my experience. And this isn't just on forward slash NG, but again, this is on UGAS and DGAS and it has that direct you know, uh, correlation. So again, I'm gonna zoom in very quickly and you can see that on Thursday, right at 7 30 dgas went from 108 all the way down to 1031 right that lost about 2.18 percent why is that important why why is that important am i going to try to predict which one's going to go up and which one's going to go down well this natural gas report is released on a weekly basis i'm going to put a link in the description it's going to be the first one in the description for you um, so you guys can see where the natural gas report is released it literally is in a matter of milliseconds that as soon as that natural gas report is released, it drives the price either down or up. And just like I've said multiple times, when you watch me trade live, I'm not here to guesstimate, right? Which side it's gonna push up and which side it's gonna go down. That in my eyes, it's gambling. And when it comes down to being able to analyze the data on that report, the reaction happens so quick that I'm not gonna be able to realistically. So what do I do? What I do, and this is what I do and not something that you have to do, but I have multiple videos showing this, that I do not, in a sense, try to predict which way it's gonna go up, but all I normally do is I buy the dip. And one thing that I'll do for you is in the second link in the description, I'll post the link to the live stream that caught me trading live last week. So the, nat the last natural gas report that just came out, you will see exactly how I traded it. It sold off. It began to consolidate. I bought the dip on DGAS, right? And then I bought the dip, I bought the dip, it began to consolidate. Again, I always have a max stop loss in mind, and that's something that I go into more detail in the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library. If you're interested, if you're not, then again, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube that you're more than welcome to check out. But what I do is, again, I don't know which one's gonna go up, which one's gonna go down, but based off previous patterns, there's this report that is released, and this report acts as a positive or negative catalyst for natural gas. And in this case, it was positive for natural gas, which means that for the inverse ETF, which is DGAS, it drove the price down. This news and this catalyst does not last for a very long period of time. So as you see, this is in my experience, it does not last for a very long period of time. Anywhere from 5.15 up to an hour, right? 5.15 minutes up to an hour. And it consolidates, it consolidates, it builds its lows, it builds its highs, and then guess what? It begins to uptrend, and then it recovers. And this is where I make a majority of the money. You can see that from you know the overall low points to where it pushed up. Again, you don't know exactly that it's gonna make higher highs. That's based off of hope. But looking at previous patterns, even previous highs right here, right? Right around 106 or maybe 107 if you wanna be a little bit riskier during pre-market highs. So let's say you do buy the dip, right? Not, not at the lowest price point, but at a decent price point and you sell in between. That's 2.32%. And how long? This is in 29 minutes. So a lot of you guys have a goal of one to 5% on a weekly basis. How amazing would it be, even those under the PDT rule, to be able to achieve your weekly goal in just a matter of minutes. But it's how you approach this, because again, it's not every single time that natural gas recovers right away, or that this report recovers right away. Sometimes it recovers in a matter of minutes. Sometimes it takes hours, and depending on the overall direction of the overall ETF and the overall future, it might not recover for that overall day. 
And that's something that will come with time and practice. And that's exactly why we do this every single day. Why I trade live every single day to explain my thought process, to share with you not just how much money I'm making, right? I made over $4,500 profit last week trading and the Learn Plan Profit Group got to see me trade live every single morning. But it's about understanding my thought process on why I decided to buy, on why I decided to sell, on why I decided to buy the dip and then when it broke above the EMA line to add more to my position size because it was pushing up and then when it got close to the resistance level to lock in profits. Again, this is all something that is explained every single day and when it comes down to learning about a new market, there's a huge learning curve and you're always going to have questions and that is why we put together this you know, nice little package for those that are interested in it. I do want you guys to know that the Learn Plan Profit course is going through a complete makeover and that is something that should be done by the end of the month. But I simply wanted to share because we have so many people always asking, Ricky, why do you always trade the same thing? Ricky, why do you always trade natural gas? Why do you always trade UGAS and DGAS? Why would I want to trade anything else if this is making me money? If I'm buying and selling Honda Civics, and that's where I'm making six figures a year. Why would I want to buy and sell Ferraris? Why would I want to buy and sell Subarus? Why would I want to buy and sell Fords? It just doesn't make sense. I'm not here to overcomplicate it for myself. I'm here to trade and invest in what I see value. And that is my goal for each and every single one of you to find your niche within the market. I wanted to share my series of best practices and what has led to my success. But ultimately that is so you can cherry pick the things that you like best from my best practices and you know, create your own series of best practices and in a sense, your own trading strategy. That's our goal for every member that we have as a part of a Learn Plan Profit. One of the last things that I wanted to remind you is again, that's pretty much gonna sum up this video, is the first link in the description will be the Natural Gas Report website where the Natural Gas Report is released on a weekly basis. So feel free to check that out and read up on that. And the second link in the description, for those that are interested, feel free to watch last week's live trading that's private, but I'll make it public, for the Learn Plan Profit Group. You can see me buy, you can see me sell, you, you hear me explain my thought process, locking in profits, I think in like 14 minutes I made $500 profit, not bad. See it happen live. Again, I explained why I do what I do, and now you can see it happen live. And again, that's that second link in the description. And then when you feel ready, if you feel ready, and you would like to work with me on a closer basis, again, we're the largest YouTube channel, we're the largest private Facebook group for those who trade in the stock market in the entire world. I would love to work with you guys on a closer basis. Feel free to click that third link in the description and then right below that, there's gonna be a little coupon code. It's gonna be $40 off the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library whenever it is that you are ready. We're gonna start trading live as soon as tomorrow as tomorrow's Monday and that's when the market opens. And I'm really excited for those that see value in it to work with us on a closer basis. So again, feel free to check that out, third link in the description and then you should be able to see a little coupon code that's gonna be able to grant you $40 off the Learn Plan Profit course. I appreciate you guys' this time. Continue working hard, continue following your dreams. Let your passion be what drives your success. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.